All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody watching on YouTube. Later on, Hawkeye is taking up the camera right now. He wanted to be sitting here. so. Um, but we have a new donation deck that we're going to be playing here that we're calling Teamer Golos. Uh, this is a basically a Teamer Elemental deck that we're playing that uh, is... It's basically built around ramping and just playing all these five mana spells. You know, like we're like our, our strength of our deck are going to be these cavaliers and the goluses. Um, but yeah, like we're we're trying to get like lots and lots and lots of mana, and we can start activating golos all the time. That's what we're going to be trying to do here. So we have our our land werewolves and our leafkin druids to be ramping us right away, and then you know hopefully getting risen reef that helps ramp us straight to these five mana cards. So that's what we're doing. Uh, then whenever we have a bunch of mana, yep, like I said, we can either activate the Golos, we can be we can be casting Star of Extinction if we're behind, because all we were doing was just ramping. Right? Like that's gonna happen a lot that we'll be kind of behind our opponents doing all sorts of stuff. And then boom, we'll wipe the board with Star of Extinction. And then we have like our Tamios to get stuff back. And of course we have a really big Hydroid Crisis to cast as well. This one is going to be pretty interesting to try out. See how see how we do with like having ten of these five mana um, elementals, you know, that that are ramping us. You know, like Cavalier of Gales gets to do some really cool things here. Like we can put lands back on top and then do the Risen Reef. Like if we have a Risen Reef in play and Cavalier of Gales, we can first draw three, put the land back on top, have the Risen Reef, put the land in, straight into play. So it can kind of act like a Cavalier of Thorns by putting the lands straight into play like that, um, or we can we can put like especially if we have like two cards with the same name in our hand after we draw three we can put them both back on top and then Tamio tick up and name that draw name that and draw them both back again. All right, we're gonna be doing some kind of cool stuff here, hopefully. So this is our deck. Let's head on over to our traditional constructed queue with it and see how it does. This the slower the deck that we're playing against, the better for us, of course. We're gonna be a little slow out of the gates. Oh yeah. Yeah, Hawkeye's the star of the show. He's the best. All right, good hand. <clears throat> we definitely want to see one of our mana creatures in the opener, and then having Risen Reef is, is a bonus for sure. Oh, Hawkeye, where are you going? You look so big on camera, Hawkeye. Oh, it's my turn. All right, definitely hoping that Risen Reef ramps us. So we can go straight into Cavalier of Thorns. Bet two cats at once. Yay. Now, in case our opponent kills our Leafkin Druid, drawing a land would be ideal, but... Is this Sultai Command the Dreadhorde stuff? Don't you do it. No. Boo. Kind of shows how good 
Risen Reef is, though, that our opponent didn't even, like, kill the, the Cavalier Thorns, you know, the 5-6 with the cast down. Uh-oh. We got a Risen Reef battle here. So yeah, I can I could star get back Tamio and Risen Reef. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Starting to feel like maybe I should be doing that. Yeah, maybe we give him another turn. The land fights for us. Probably give him one more turn. Should I just attack them? Kind of want to just attack them. It's a lot of damage that we're attacking for here. I don't want Command the Dread Horde to be, you know, like amazing. I'm going to try to put pressure on them for that. Don't I have that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I ha don't I have I have enough for six, don't I? That was weird. They're like, we will not auto tap your lands for you. You you must tap one land. It's like, all right. Uh, you just always had to confirm X spells like that now with with the new update. Alright, yeah. Give me this Risen Reef. And... That's, that's kind of it that I want. I'll keep the other one. <clears throat> I 
I was thinking about maybe getting the Star of Extinction back. Darn, that card's good. We're just going to mill ourselves out, aren't we? Yeah, this is crazy. Crazy value. How do we, yeah, how do we like not mill ourselves out? Yeah, gotta keep on doing damage to the face. Yeah, this deck really could just play Nexus, honestly. Like instead of Star of Extinctions, if we just had Nexuses. Really good. We're just gonna have Omnath do a whole bunch of damage. Like, you know, we got two more Omnaths in here. Somewhere in these sweet Mu Yanling sleeves. Yep, the white and the black mana for Golos activation. Dang, there's so much value in this deck. That's a sweet looking island. Yeah, maybe we do need, like, clear the mine and stuff like that. So, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we want to do yet, Kitty. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with you first. Put him back like this. Now I have that land war elf there that I don't really want. So we're going to shuffle it away. Yep. Yeah, that's what that's my plan is Omnath to bring back to buy back Omnath to burn him out. That's my play there. And that's my plan. Plus we have like Golos activations that are about to start happening. And everything too. If they're just going to be playing like Jade Lights, we'll have the Cavalier be able to attack in the air. I cancel out like Jade Light Lifelink. 
We're at 23 cards. They're at 30. I protect that, which cannot protect well, they're going to need removal for this Cavalier, Gales. Rise, my elemental friend. So that's... So that's 13. So that puts him to 8. So we have to have 8... Elementals in play for Omnath, or just play two Omnaths? You'll probably get another Omnath. Let's activate you. Hmm. Those are not... Omnaths. Cavalier of Gales is pretty sweet with Golos, though. Oh, I don't have any more white mana. Oh, I did. And we did that wrong. With the Risen Reef. Whoops. Now we have white mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I was going to go. Yeah, so I had lethal there. So my my next play was Tamio. Tamio grab Omnath, then play Omnath, deal seven to them, then play land, have land put counter on Cavalier of Gales, lethal. I really don't think there's anything in the sideboard I want for this matchup, to be honest. And of course, if Hobnath would have hit any lands, I would have put, put more counters on Cavalier Gales. <laughs> Risen Reese are a hated enemy. It is it is very good. That's that's standard right now. Standard is just so good. I I'm a little worried about Risen Reef after rotation. Uh, if standard gets slower and everything. You know, we won't have like like vampires won't be nearly as good and mono red and stuff like that. Like the slower standard is, the more Risen Reef is gonna dominate. Cause like none of like the like Besides Llanowar Elf, like Llanowar Elf is the one card that's really rotating from these elemental decks. But, yep, Shock Cycles. But, you know, we'll have to just kind of see uh, what what happens here. We'll see if there's any, any card that they print in the newer sets that, like, hoses Risen Reef kind of thing. You know, like how they had Re Wilderness Reclamation then immediately printed Teferi that hosed it kind of thing. We'll see if... I, you know, I don't know what that card could look like, but it'll be interesting. Well, this is the fastest keep we could have. I'm so happy we got card styles for these. Oh no, they had turn two Risen Reef? That's busted. Well, I'm gonna have to respond with turn two Risen Reef. No, stop drawing these Hydra Graces. Grace is like the worst card in our deck. It's gonna just draw one card. It's like so not nearly as good as all the other things in our deck. Get some lands. No, get some. Come on, land. Yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, Reef being any elemental. I feel like the card should just be blue and a green and not any elemental just itself. It'd still be a fine card. You'd be a good two drop that just counted itself and not any elemental. It's kind of busted with counting any elemental. Alright, so this is perfect Star of Extinction finding time. Hmm. I don't think it, re it really doesn't matter what order you put them in. Can't really shock again. I wanted to play Leaf Kin Druid, but I can't really shock again. Through this land, we are all connected. All right, where's our Star of Extinctions? We haven't seen any of them yet. Means there's one right on top. The land shall conquer you. I would love them not to attack. Darn. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to block two next turn anyway. Or it's going to block three next turn anyway. Oh, yeah, we have to start crisising. No, see, I told you, right on top. Star Extinction right on top. Okay, so that's going to make things a lot easier. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, I cannot go Leafkin plus star. Unless we hit a land in the top two, of course, but we're just not going to be greedy. Let's get rid of all the black source. Get rid of the black source. No, let's get rid of all the blues. Let's get rid of the other blue source. All right, well, wish we would have jump blocked. All right, let's get Star of Extinction back. you leave steam vents as the last card y'all are lucky i drew a untapped green source We don't have black or white right now. There's two black, two white. Let's just put a white. 
Oh, I have to target an elemental with that. I can't target Krasis. I want to target Krasis. And Star of Extinction is sweet. So good against Nyssa. Yeah, punishes, punishes Nyssa so, so much. All right, so if I go, if Tamio grabs Risen Reef, then I'm only left with four mana after playing Tamio Risen Reef. I could just do this for like, I don't know, eight. Still have one mana left over. Uh, tap you. That's cute. Look at that little fella. That little fella right there. They got Melody? Nope, no Melody. All right, Teamer Golos, going big. Going big. Yeah, agent agent treachery would be nice to steal lands, but we can't we can't really just play just like too many seven mana cards. And I, it definitely felt like with those two games that Star of Extinction was worth it. It's kind of weird because you're thinking, well, you're just playing all these creatures. Like, why do we? Why would you want Star of Extinction when you're just playing all these all these creatures out? But our creatures are ramping us so hard that we we still have so many lands in play and so much card advantage. That it's worth it. At least that's how that those games played. Um, I mean, Risen Reef is awesome. Yeah, we'll just keep. They're going down to six already. Their hand can't be, like, amazing, right? They're already going down to six. If, if, we, if we actually just mulligan every hand that doesn't have one of our... Eight earlier mana creatures. That's gonna be kind of rough, because you know, like, there's only eight of them. It's not. It's not like we're gonna find them all the time. So we'll keep this hand. Hey, look at that. It's already looking up. That is true. Yeah, our, our deck does top deck very well. I'll give you that too. Yeah. Hey, corn lover. Went six and one at F and M. Way to go! Good job. We're not casting that thing for a while. We got like all of our red sources. <laughs> Yeah, what'd you play at FNM? All right, well, we have, the, we have all the colors for Golos. Now I just need Golos to go grab another blue source for us. Mm -hmm. Having the 
The Star of Extinction seemed pretty good in this kind of matchup, too. Blow up Field of the Deads. Man, I want to play Omnath. What do I have? I have seven lands right now. Wait, so if I play Omnath... Yeah. Yeah, let's play Omnath. Alright, so... Omnath... Kill the flyer. Reveal that. Put a counter on Risen Reef. Just make this Risen Reef a 3 3 so I can block the 2 2s. Oh, there's an island. Sweet. A solid deck for beginners. Well, the common answer there is mono red. And I think that that is a pretty solid choice. I think vampires is a good one too, honestly. The new vampire deck. You kind of want like your, for beginners, you kind of want your linear deck that's like trying to do its thing. And that's all that's important, is doing your own thing. It's like, honestly, like these scape shift decks, like it'll take, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to and everything. But once you, once you start like knowing what you're trying to do, like this is honestly like not a bad deck for beginners. This is actually a pretty good one. We need our Cavalier of Thorns to die. Ooh. Okay, okay. We're just giving them the test first. All right, pass the test. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I follow the tracks of the wise. I guess I should be playing the land because I draw a card. I should be playing this land first. Draw the card. Star will blow up one of these Field of the Deads. I question this outcome. I think give me back. Just give me back Star. Yeah. All right, how are we doing on? Oh no, instant speed. Uh, instant speed scape shift is a huge problem. Gosh, do I need to just preemptive strike with the star of extinction? Gosh, maybe I do. If that last card's scape shift, I could be in for big trouble if I don't cast star right now. So yeah, it does kill the Teferi. Even if I do cast the 
the star right now. Can they get nine, ten zombies? Maybe. This is not something I wanted to be doing with my life. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Okay, cool. Their last card was not scape shift. Good. It was seven mana. Dest it was destroy a planeswalker in stone rain. So it wasn't just stone rain. We destroyed a planeswalker too. Circuitous route. That was their card. It wasn't the land, because they didn't play land. It was the circuitous route, so they would have had a few 2-2s. Um, let's go with you. Put a land into play. Hey, Elder 2. All right, have, have a good one. Yep, make sure to check out that Vanifar deck later on YouTube. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. I know, just Tamiyo, Star of Extinction, Kill Field of the Dead. I don't think we really need to do that right now. Like, we have that. I think we can beat one Field of the Dead. We'll see, though. I don't know. I like... Like what we got going on here with a bunch of five fives that will be attacking them. A bunch of five power stuff. We have two other stars in here. I kind of want to Tamiyo grab Golos. Start activating some Golos. Golos. It's fun to say. The corporation in a pool of margaritas. Light up on the lungs. Hmm. How about it's actually three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen? 14, 15, or no, 13, so let's do 12, let's just draw some new cards, gain some life, wow, no lands, don't even get to trigger the Somnath. That ill wind started blowing. Everything must go. Dude, I am liking just ramping into Star of Extinctions. I am all for that. Give me that all day. I 
Ramping into Star of Extinctions? Yes, please. All right, Crisis bounced. Our opponent has avoided that Crisis. So yeah, they're still keeping, assuming they're keeping the Blast Zone around for the five drops. This is pretty sweet that we just don't have to, like, oh, wow, they're not even keeping the Blast Zone? Do they even have that many lands in their deck? How many lands did they just sacrifice? Four, five, six, seven. I don't know, it's kind of jumpy. Yeah, they didn't even grab that many lands. Why don't they just keep the Blast Zone in the other ones? Oh, they don't even, they didn't even have enough to trigger Escape Shift. Whoa, they, they sacrificed way too many lands. Oh well. We still had him. So like negate is like the only card to like kind of play here. Yeah, I guess we just play negates. The thing is like negate's not gonna do anything if they have little Teferi in play. Yeah, we could have Blood Sun or Ashiok, like those kind of things in the sideboard. I guess not Ashiok because we're playing Golos, but Blood Sun. No, nah, I don't really care to play Shifting Ceratops. All right, Storm, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. For the sub battle stream. That's right, we have sub battle stream tomorrow. Oh yeah, Ashiok's only opponent. Good call. Alright, maybe one Krasis, one Gales, two negate. Alright, there. I found two ne found spots for two negates. Hey, Eisen F, it's going good. Having some fun. Ramping real hard. Ooh. I think we have our first mulligan. With no blue mana here. All right, so we can either get rid of Negate or get rid of Star of Extinction. Get rid of Negate. Because I'm, I'm playing Leafkin Druid on turn two, and then if they if they play uh, Teferi on turn three, then I'm just like, you know, I'm just dead. I don't even get to, or even they could, they could have Teferi on turn two now, and then the Negate just does absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to hedge and not play the negate so because it could just be a dead card and yeah I want to want to keep the star with the ramp we got man I'm gonna be playing Tamio and ticking up what a, wow they missed rejuvenator missed What's Tamio naming? I know I noted this somewhere. Risen Reef? I would say Cavalier Thorns would be a good name, but we already have two of them.
All right, we got one reef. But I'm not like playing reef next turn, right? Or am I? I guess I can go reef plus leafkin next turn. By minus Tammy Yo. Violence is impolite. Hmm. Now let's go a Cavalier of Thorns first. Because then this probably, yep, there we go, flips over another card like a Risen Reef. Alright, how are we doing? Two blue. I think I want another blue. Because of Cavalier Gales. And now I can just pick up the Risen Reef. So next turn we could have like Dub's Reef. I have learned much from my ancestors. Oh yeah, we can block that. We're good. Doing this because if we find another Leafkin Druid. How many Leafkin Druid? There's already I've already seen two. Seek and find. Okay, at least there was no Leafkin Druid either. Okay, no black and no white sources in our grave. Or yes, yeah, so we have the one black source in play. No white sources in the graveyard, so we're good there. So I guess my turn is like what Omnath, Omnath kill Krasis, then Cavalier Thorns, and get four Risen Reef triggers. Do Tamio. Darn. They figured it out. <laughs> Take up name on where do you go? Make them panic. <laughs> wow. Not caring about Tamio. All right, so it looks like they have Dobin's Veto. That's what it sure looks like. Nope, not you. We're gonna mill out. I should have grabbed Hinchel and Harbor to play Llanowar Elf. I don't want to take up Tamio anymore. We're at 19 cards. Tamio's just going to minus. What to get back, though? 
unclear. I can't really... I don't really want to get like a Cavalier of Thorns back or anything. I'll just get a Breeding Pool. The storied past we haven't played a land for turn. It's just too much value. See you, land worlds. All right, how many Omnas do we have over here? Zero. So there's two other Omnaths in the deck for Omnath triggers. Welcome back. Thanks for that reset. Oh, are there only two Omnaths in the deck total? I was thinking there was three. That probably makes sense why we haven't had Omnath too much. There's only two. Checks out. Hmm. I guess I'm not activating Golos this turn. I don't know why I don't really want to shock, but I don't really want to shock. That's a good one. Obviously, I can't cast the negate if the Teferi stays out there. cards left. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. No tale should be discarded. Gosh, I forgot Omnath. Drawing cards. Down to nine cards. So, of course, we're looking for another Omnath to finish him off. He <laughs> had yeah, the lone surviving elf. Okay. 
There we go. 2 and 0. GG's. GG's. I blew fire. You are a rock star. Thanks for that support. Enjoy all of the awesome emotes. And yeah, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Good brother. I never mind. List sharing is always. You can always share lists and chat and everything. That's never anything that you can't do. Yeah, we've played two slower decks. And so we've we've been looking pretty good because we've played two slower decks. Um, you know, we don't want to get faced against the aggro decks, I don't think. Oh, I think Z... There we go. Okay. So yeah, we got So they they couldn't find a pairing for us basically or they're like having connection issues. Our our stream was like or like our game was lagging a little bit last round. Let's just go ahead and do a reset. Maybe having a little bit of connection issues here. Yeah, like we're we're getting so much value out of like these cavaliers and everything, and then we have to realize, we have to remember, oh wait, these things are still like five power creatures that are really big and hit hard. I guess we could just attack. So like we're worried about you know decking, like oh man, are we gonna run out of cards? But then realize, wait, we can just kill our opponent very quickly. Probably like even though it's kind of looks like we need to worry about de decking, we probably don't actually have to worry too much. About it. What do you have to, Hawkeye? You coming back? Come here. Hawkeye. Another good opener for us. I wonder if I was supposed to wait till after Risen Reef this time for the Druid. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm glad I did not. Blue land? Yeah. Life is good. Rude. Yeah, Cavalier. Yeah, Cavalier being ramp with the Risen Reef is really sweet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be seven. Well, might as well just play another one of these. Guess we don't really need a crisis yet.
And the Cavalier would die, it actually wouldn't really be that bad for us. Because if they die, we'd be able to shuffle away these... Yeah, you know, we shuffle away the lands because you, you shuffle it in and then scry two. It's like I would... I would I'd be just happy with them mortifying one of these Cavalier Gales. I thought it was pretty odd that our opponent shocked with the Adanto Vanguard last turn. I don't want either of those. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Still had the stomping ground on top. Oh, yeah, Cavalier Gales with Il Ilharg, absolutely. Yeah, all these Cavaliers are just awesome with Ilharg, for sure. But yeah, I mean, on, of course, obviously my opponent was at 10. I had two 5-5 five, five flyers. I didn't need to block there because we would have had the, you know, the 5-5s, five, five, you know, force, could have forced them to have the removal spell. Um, but I was feeling pretty good about our chances either way. So we had an awesome hand. Our opponent did not. They were missing all sorts of land drops and everything. So we got lucky there. We'll see if we can pick up another game. I'm not too confident about this matchup, to be honest. We got the Shiv and Fires, which is reasonable. That's kind of about it, though. But I guess like we're really going to be trying to do our, our game plan anyway. I don't know what our worst cards are. Could be Tamio. Likely Tamio. Maybe two Tamios and a Star of Extinction. All right, let's go with this. So yeah, we're we're gonna be trying to get a fast ramp hand like that and get these five mana creatures in play. They're they are our roadblock. You could have it all. Hmm. Can we keep? Yeah, I think we can. A hand without a one or two mana acceleration. Obviously, what we need here is we need Risen Reef to hit a blue source, and then go go straight from Risen Reef to Cavalier, and then six mana Crisis. But if we can do that, I like our chances. And by like our chances, I mean like our chances more than more than going to six cards. Yeah, we have we have a really good chat here. Everybody's so nice. Great, I really like our our chat that we have also. Um, what 
Update, update what? What am I supposed to update? Need the blue source here. Blue source. Yeah. The current deck is not correct. Are you sure? Oh, on the asterisk. Okay, yes, the asterisk. I was like, I have the deckless command updated. I went and double checked and everything. Thanks. There we go. All right, all fixed. Man, not of the Evan Legion's like impossible to block. That thing's a five six. Give me that Golos. Why did Golos only go 2-0? We're playing we're playing Golos right now. Okay, so that's what the star thing is there. Yeah, we're that's that's the deck that we're playing right now. Oh wait, could I I could have kicked this thing to kill their their thing. Oh, I messed that up. I was just focused on playing the Golos. I think I think they were tapped out enough. I think. So I have to jump here. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna be able to kill that thing. Pay four. I just want to kill it. All right. Well, my bad. Yep. No worries. Just looking for Star of Extinction. Even if we're chump blocking every single turn, I feel pretty good about where we're at. Does take a lot of mana there. Don't get to play other things. Ooh. Speaking of other things. Let's play this. Doesn't really matter. Some good ramp right there. That was a good ramp turn. Ugh. Rude. All right, get our scry on. It's my party. 
And I can scry if I want to. Um, yeah, we'll just keep doing this. Take action. Take action. Oh, we'll have we'll have super mega crisis. Don't you worry. Just not yet. We're just like almost 20 cards deep compared to them. But I guess I guess some of that self mill. I mean, we, we're just like throwing away five fives and six sixes and five sixes every single turn and not caring. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Like, this is a really good block for me because they kill Cavalier Thorns here. I guess maybe not so good. They have to play something else, but I, I get the Shiv and Fire back. Maybe I maybe I grab Tamio. I go Tamio, Shiv and Fire. I don't even want Tamio. We don't have enough cards to be ticking up Tamio. Just give me the Shiv and Fire. Yeah, they can pump again right now if they, you know, if they don't play anything. If they don't play anything, that's fine. We'll just, we'll do other stuff with our life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I could do crisis for twelve. Ugh, that's probably pretty good. That kind of gives us too many cards in hand. All right, whatever. Crisis. Get him, Risen Reef. Get him. Got him. Ditching the Cavalier Thorns because I don't want to mill myself too much. Alright, now we're going to start killing them. have a good amount of cards. I don't think I have to be too worried about flooding out yet. Maybe I do. Hmm. So we got two star. There's a star. 15 cards. 
I'm just gonna discard the Leafkin Druid. I mean, I guess I just should probably discard a Cavalier of Thorns. Can't really afford to play Cavalier of Thorns anymore. What is that thing? That thing looks crazy. Crazy dead, am I right? Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wrong, wrong order of the triggers. Darn it. Darn it. We're at, we're at 10. So Cavalier Gales is going to do... It's going to draw three. So it, draw, it draws five cards. It's going to be a long time. No, block the 1-1. One, one. Lame. Six cards left. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. If I don't reveal the card, just goes to my hand, so it's not like. Yeah, like, the difference is, of course, is, like, we're drawing the extra card off Omnath, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Five elementals. And... Yeah, I mean, this is just game. I got these flyers. What am I doing? Just do this thing. They said good game. I'll see good game back. All right, beat up the vampire deck too. Even though it's just. I was just sitting there chumping with five with five mana five fives all day long. Didn't care. Yeah, Banefire is still in standard. The bottle black control list, thanks, yeah, Guru, there you go. You can find it there. The other two decks are already up on the YouTube channel. I had a lot of fun with that mono black control list. It was it was pretty sweet. Okay. We can't keep this. Mm, I guess we keep. Begrudgingly keep. I've turned four Cavalier Gales right now. The problem is we're not going to have... We're not going to have, like, any... Green mana. But maybe we... Maybe we draw a Risen Reef right here. Rise, Reef. Rise. The old overgrown tomb steam vents. First two land drops. A classic. Hmm. 
It's not a good sign for me. This looks like this is probably like Nexus or, you know, uh, Scape Shift or something like that. Essence Scatter. I was thinking Growth Spiral. I was thinking they were going to be ramping with Growth Spiral, and so I just need to get a 2 2 in play. But maybe, maybe this is just like Bant Flash. I don't really want the Cavalier Gales countered. I don't really have an option, though. It's not like it gets better for me. They, it's, I mean, yeah, they should just be playing like Sinister Sabotage, Syncopate, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll have the dinosaur here, finally. We'll, we have a reason to play the dinosaur. Yeah, all we need is for them to play seven more shock lands. Just shock in seven more times. Wow, I love that attack. Block. Wow, that's such a great that was such a great attack for us. Such a not great attack for them. They really should not have attacked that cutthroat. Setting up Star of Extinction. Just need to draw land. What do we have here against a bunch of frilled mystics? A bunch of sh shifting ceratops. No veil of summers, though. I guess we should be playing the gates. Let's try this. Probably need This or Shiv and Fire? I need a Shiv and Fires. Which one of these five drops do we want to cut? I oh, don't know, they're all pretty sweet. I can't kill Night Pack Ambusher. Shiv and Fire can.
All right, we'll see how slow we are. Hopefully not too slow. We know we're definitely going to be slow. Of course, we got, we're going up top with the Ceratop. If Golos would actually resolve, which is a big if, obviously, but we, we have the mana where we'll be able to activate Golos right afterwards. We'll be able to go grab our Black Source. Activating Golos is like game winning. You know, getting good, get, basically getting Golos in play is like game winning here for this matchup. You know, getting three spells a turn that all cost zero mana. We haven't seen what exactly what they have for white, like for white right now. We could certainly expect white removal to, to try to deal with Ceratops. Mm. I want Golos to resolve. You don't get Vigilance. Uh, yeah, seal away. That's a good one. That's a good removal spell. They could be playing. Yeah, Angel of Grace. That could, that could be a thing also. Ceratops. They'll finish this out or at least help us resolve this Golos. All right, Golos is in there. So unless they get rid of Golos, I'd really like our chances. And obviously they have the dinosaur they have to be worried about too, so. So not another Ceratops. I don't know. I could see Settle the Wreckage here, honestly. It's just not worth it for us to attack with the Golos when we're just getting three free cards a turn. And so, yeah, even though they could have had Nightpack Ambusher, Angel of Grace, Seal Away, anything like that that would have just dealt with the dinosaur. And I wouldn't have killed them. 
Um, I guess... Yeah, Angel of Grace would have, but Nightpack Ambusher would not have because the Trample. This is the dinosaur. That I was referring to. Alright, so no two mana creature over there. And that's why we're playing Shiv and Fire and not Fry. Fry doesn't kill that thing. Still can't really attack with the Ceratops because they could just take it and swing back for more. You know, like we're not winning that race. So I could shock to be able to have, I could basically pay two life to prevent them from attacking for one to be able to have, um, reach available here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait till next turn. Out of counters. Play another land. Uh, play land, good. Need them to have more lands over there. Just please don't have a counter spell here. This is this is the game here. Yay. That was big.
That was big time. Brian Ward Cutthroat can still get this done, though. Spell, spell, spell. Ugh, that was an ugly turn. That's all right. We're looking at four cards a turn. Spell, spell, spell. All right. Land War Elf. Counter it? No. Risen Reef. A Teak Tree with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support there. That is our ninth sweet, clean subscriber of the day. All right, looking for white and black mana. Got neither. Be able to activate Golos twice a turn. We got to find our other black and our other white source. There's only two of each. <clears throat> All right, there's a white source. Golos is awesome. Well, we got lots of mana. Like we're burning the whole house down. <laughs> nope, we're not. Sorry, AJR. We're going on over to our final boss playlist. <laughs> well, there you go, Blood Wolf. Yeah, no, Vol Golos is awesome. Golos MVP. All right, 4-0, oh. let's see if we can defeat the final boss. So whenever you exile with Golos, your opponent doesn't get to see the cards. Is that what y'all are saying? I was I was just kind of assuming they did get to see the cards. But y'all y'all are saying that they don't. Yeah. Yep, sub battle means yep, I'm gonna be playing against subscribers all day tomorrow. It's it's a whole lot of fun and everything. Hey what's up, Tree Fitty? Yep, I do that the last Saturday every the last Saturday of every month. Always do that. Ah, so it is it's exile face up unless stated otherwise. So it doesn't state up or down. So that means it's just uh, 
face up, so they should they should know it. Ah, uh, looks like our final boss is the same match we just played. So it looks like here. Yep, same time tomorrow for the stream. Three Eastern is when we'll start, and around ten Eastern. It's the same stream time every day. Yeah, I thought goalless cards were revealed. Well, I got a good aggressive one here. So I'm going to play my land first and play around Syncopate for one on the Risen Reef. Cool. So that means Reef will resolve. Yeah, I'm still playing Vanifar tonight. Yeah. Darn, definitely wanted to ramp there. If we can get to seven mana, which isn't going to be next turn, but the turn after, you know, like if Leafkin resolves, we have seven mana the turn after and Star of Extinction. I guess I play that. They're definitely countering that thing, but then I don't have the mana. I'm thinking. Uh, thinking they may not counter. Leaf Kindruid. But it's also possible they're just chilling with like negates over there though. But I played I played my land first to make it look scary. Put a little fear in them. So if they just have like the the wolf if that was like their plan It's kind of not better for me to play Star of Extinction here first. I can't really beat anything. Can't beat a counter spell, can't beat can't really even beat the wolf. Okay. So let's take out some of those cards that we were drawing. So what well, we took out Tamio, took out Star of Extinction, put in uh, fire and negate. And bring in the up tops and trim a crasis. Not trim a crasis, bring that back. Trim a cavalier. Wait, what else did we take out then? Oh, the Omnath. Yeah, there we go. Now, the the problem with Fry... Hmm. The reason why I didn't bring in Fry last time either. The problem with Fry 
is it doesn't kill the night pack ambusher. Sure, it can sure it can kill their the cutthroat, but whatever. And I don't really want to play a spell that like only kills cutthroat. I don't really care about the other things. Yeah, I want to play this. No, we can't play this. All right, so we're keeping this and we're putting a land war elf back. Yeah. We'll be able to play around Syncopate, for one. They're going to have to have Scatter to counter Reef. But, you know, playing the Land of World first because the Druid could trigger the Reef afterwards. Yay. Cavalier, if we go with Cavalier Thorns, it's just going to be countered. But it uses all of my mana this turn. Where if I just if I play Leafkin and they counter it, it doesn't use my mana this turn. I'll still just go Leafkin. It plays around Syncopate at least. Hey, how about that? Ramp, ramp. Darn. I mean, it's it's so it's my opponent's gonna be playing for old mystic this turn, so I'm just gonna play the crisis and draw two. So yeah, Brian Brianborn Cutthroat is just really scary. Just. I think it's worth trading with Risen Reef and, and Land War off there because it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And if I just take the three, it's how, you know, like we're going to lose. Hmm. Ambusher. Could also be a problem. I won't hide from the world. Let's take it back. So I s haste to Ceratops. Yeah, we're just taking another. We're taking seven. I don't want them drawing two cards a turn. This is hardly my worst defeat. I can go Cavalier Thorns with Negate back up next turn.
but ambushers are going to be tough to beat. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe I go Gales next turn. I was thinking Thorn to like just get extra mana. But I guess Gales can start attacking in the air to race. No, we're going Thorns. We need extra mana. I guess this is the worst play against Frilled Mystic, though. This is a this is a real bad play against Frilled Mystic. Not having another blocker. But I guess Frilled Mystic kills us either way, even if we had another blocker. Yeah, Frilled Mystic just kills us. Because, yeah, another blocker doesn't matter. So, great. Great hand. GG's opponent. GG's. All right, four and one. We split our matches against the Flash deck. Win one and one against Flash. And we are on to final boss part two. Good thing we had an extra life already. So good thing we had that extra life. So we're all good still. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke is, is the better sideboard card for that specific matchup. It's a very good one. Um, that's a mulligan. Really, really, I could I could see some Vela Summers in the sideboard. That feels like a sideboard card we're kind of missing out on. Uh, I guess we don't need the third blue right now. I need a third blue for Cavalier. I guess that's my third green, though, also. If I would have got rid of that, we would have just been at two green. I just didn't really want to shock. We'll be we'll be fine. Blossoming Sands. All right, so it looks like another scapeshift opponent. Oh yeah, yeah. Veil of Summer is pretty awesome. I even prefer Veil of Summer to, uh, like I prefer Veil of Summer to the Ceratops myself, honestly. Like I, I put Veil of Summers in my sideboards, and not Ceratops. Yeah, our, our deck's filled with like you know four or five mana creatures. So if we just make them uncounterable, we don't need like more creatures. But a lot of people really like the Ceratops, though. All right, so we need... So lands are the most important thing that we need. We're going to go Tamiyo, Tick Up. Look for Risen Reef. And I'll probably be minusing... Probably be minusing Tamiyo the next turn to grab the land. Or if we draw land, I'll minus and grab the Cavalier Thorns. That'd be ideal. Let's draw land here and then be able to grab Cavalier Thorns. Wow. That is like the worst scenario that Our time could come together up. Is finished. Thank me later. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Well, good quality hand from our opponent. This was a good one. Grow Spiral on two, Rejuvenator on three, and then Prison Realm plus Teferi on turn four. It's a good hand. It's going to be tough for us to keep up. Like always, land is our, our best draw step. In particular, this next turn we'll be able to Krasis for four, draw two cards this if we draw a land. Might be a bad idea. The 
Ugh, I do not want land war elves. Just have to blow those up. <laughs> nice auto tap. They find scape shift. It's a great card to have. See, yeah, I get to play that and scape shift. If they find scape shift and go instant speed, I'm I'm dead. It's a really good one. Just go 14 cards deep. Let's try this. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just play their field of the dead first. Perfect. Don't worry, I got. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. Please don't have another Teferi. Ugh. At least they they don't have the mana to go other Teferi and skate and instant speed scape shift. So actually, we're we're fine. Yeah, Risen Reef or, or like our Cavalier Thorns. Yeah, like those. Yeah, Risen Reef, Cavalier Thorns. That's certainly... Our deck's definitely a lot better when we have those cards than when we don't. All right, one field of the dead out of here. This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. <laughs> Them just getting one zombie a turn isn't super scary. You know, like one one zombie per land drop. You know, no scape shift. Kind of thing. So I, I couldn't Cavalier of Gales plus anything else. So just going with the Krasis. Set up our next turn better. Next turn we can Cavalier Gales and leave Kindred. Ugh. Not the third field of the dead. Yep. Now we got to look for the Star of Extinction. Yep. Game of Thrones music for when we're battling zombies. There's like none of these lands are the same. They're all different. I 
That's bad news. We kind of have to top deck Star of Extinction here. Yeah, because we're taking 10. Yeah, we have to just top deck it. We got two more. Two out of 36. So one out of 18. Not great percentage. About four. I mean, more than five. Sorry. A little bit more than 5%. Just a tad bit more. Basically 5%. Darn. So let's see if it was our top card. So if we would have played Cavalier Gales last turn, we would have been one card deeper. Okay, it was not our top card. All right, so we just want to negate taking out... What, I took out a Krasis and a Gales for two negates last time. Let's take out a Tamiyo also. Oh, I, I took out a Tamiyo and a Krasis. Let's take... All right, we're going to take out a Gales too. All right, we'll get our three negates in here. All right, we got our back against the wall here, against the second final boss. We're down a game. Yeah, I'm guessing the return to nature is in the sideboard for Nexus. Cinder Vines may be better a better option there. Alright, thanks Radical Guru. Okay. Can keep this. No Risen Reef though. Yeah, y'all are right. Our our decks certainly looked more impressive whenever we'd have Risen Reefs. Get a Momnath. Two upstairs. We aggro. Go, Omnath, go. Tilt. Of course, we have the, you know, we draw the three lands in a row, and then our, our Cavalier has no lands left to hit. So now, now it's going to be lands again. <laughs> That's how that works. Ooh, not a land. Boom, boom. All right, we need we need either the black or the white land to be second, like that we grab from Cavalier Thorns. We want to grab either the black or the white, play the other one from hand. Two 
Do they have enough lands? They don't. They messed this up. They messed this up. They, they can only get five lands. They can't get seven different ones. That's not going to work. We're already in a good spot, though. But, yeah, they, they did not do that correctly. All right, game three. So they played Scape Shift. They sacrificed a bunch of lands and put new lands into play. But they didn't sacrifice enough. They needed to sacrifice six. They should have got six two twos if they would have done that correctly. All right, game three here. Man, it's been a good long league. It's almost nine o'clock already. This is awkward. I love having Land War Elf. We don't have any blue mana. Well, we got Risen Reef. And we got blue mana. Our deck has definitely left, looked better with, with Risen Reef in the past, so let's keep it and hopefully draw other elementals. There's another elemental. So if I play Leafkin Druid first, it's better if I to do that if I draw a 5-drop. If I don't have a 5-drop, though, it's better to play the Risen Reef first. Okay, we have... Tamiyo's good. Like we have something certainly good to ramp into, so let's let's play the druid. So it's it's harder for you to tell like what what this island like what color this island is. The normal. I I could see that it looks kind of dark. No, not these drawn from dreams. This card's so good. Okay. Is it better to hold up negate than play Tamiyo? Probably. It doesn't use my mana very well. No, let's play Tamiyo this turn. Well. No, negate. Yeah, because they could have a little Teferi or like Circuitous Route would be another great one to counter. I mean, they, they just cast Drawn from Dreams. Their hand's going to be loaded, right? Like, they're going to have like some awesome stuff. And I can go like Negate here, and then I can play next turn. I can play Tamiyo, and uh, I could play Tamiyo and put the Negate back in my hand. I 
Don't you exile my Risen Reef? What you doing over there? What's up, Matthew? Boo. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I follow the tracks of the wise. No attacks. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we lost game one, and then had a good aggressive start game two, and ran him over. Like, turn three Omnath, turn four Cavalier, turn five Cavalier. And now we're in game three. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to name with Tamio either, Kitty. Is it just Krasis? Probably Krasis or Cavalier Thorns, because both those are, are four ofs. I think you will find my notes helpful. Let's go Krasis. No. It was just all lands. They got their Arch of Araska going. <clears throat> just three lands and a land war elf. Those weren't good cards. Gonna make me block. No, we don't. No, I'll. We just ticked up. We our graveyard is three lands and a land or elf. To the library. Crisis. Boo. Obviously, we have to do that. I can no longer stand by and watch. We're just sitting to, on two of those. So, is it better to destroy Field of the Dead? So, yeah, they can they can kill Tamio now. It's better to destroy Field of the Dead or Arch of Araska with this thing. They have they have not played a land yet this turn, so yeah, they could go like landscape shift, but No, I am not making this up as I go. Now they get to attack and kill Tamio, unfortunately. Hopefully they don't. That'd be nice. Yeah, just to make that attack. Yeah, keep keep your Teferi alive. No. No. No, keep your Teferi alive. Rude. I 
have learned little here. Which one do we destroy? It's probably better to destroy Arch. I really should have seen that coming. This Arch just helps him dig towards escape shift. You know, drawing drawing an extra card every turn. It's not good. Oh, I just had their escape shifts. Well, I guess I played my Star of Extinction a little too early. I don't know. Like, if I if I just say go, then they get to Teferi tick up, and they get to instant speed star. They get to instant speed the escape shift, so it's not better for us. It's possible they mess up the escape shift. They kind of messed up the escape shift earlier. Yeah, we still have a Star of Extinction to top deck. Our opponent didn't have four mana last turn whenever they played Teferi as far as like taking up and having instant speed scape shift. Well, that's game. Our Tamio did not help us, but it did just. He just had a bunch of cards, bad cards on top. It didn't quite help us there. Good game. <clears throat> yeah, the second. The second uh, Teferi, you know, having two Teferis that turn, you know, we countered the first one, but if they just had Teferi escape shift, like we were going to be, we were going to be great because, you know, they would have just escape shift there, but them having Teferi, Teferi escape shift meant that they got to kill our Tamio. That was unfortunate. Um, even if they just dealt damage to Tamio, though, we may not have been able to minus. So... This deck, this Team Regolos deck, this deck was a lot of fun. Uh, and it felt pretty good. Let me get the playlist back on. So some things about it. Actually, I, I liked the main deck. I liked the main deck. Um, Tamio, honestly, I'm not I'm not really that sold on the Tamios. Like maybe one or two. The, the problem is, is there's so much card advantage, is that like the, t the plus one is honestly... Can, like that can be pretty rough as far as milling yourself out with this deck, but the minus three is is certainly good. I definitely see playing another a third Omnath. Omnath was awesome for us. I think I'd rather have three Omnath, two Tamio than the other way around. As far as main deck goes. Yeah, I'd prefer that. And then besides that, um, our sideboard, our sideboard was what was kind of giving us problems. Our main deck, our deck was doing its thing. Our sideboard, we just didn't have very many impactful cards. Like Shiv and Fire was good. Negate is of course good. And I don't, I don't like any of these other cards. I don't think Return to Nature is any good. 
Pulse of Marasa has no value. Fry is like fine-ish, but I mean, I guess like Fry like is supposed to be for Esper, but like I, I know if it's like really that necessary for like Esper, like we just want to play just tons and tons of threats and stuff. And we have like the Star of Extinctions to blow up Planeswalkers. So I think that if we just had like, and like shifting Ceratops is okay. You know, it's, you know, it's okay. It's, it's okay against the flash decks. You know, it's, it's good there, but the flash decks are, are used to playing against shifting Ceratops by now. Like they're all adapting to be able to beat Ceratops. I would want something like, uh, definitely Veil of Summer. Like that's just a card I would much rather have against the the flash decks. I would much rather get these Cavaliers, the Golas to resolve, the Risen Reefs. I'd much rather get these cards to resolve than just have a 5-4 Dino that they will likely be able to beat with like Nightpack Ambusher or like whatever other color they're playing. I do I do realize that maybe maybe you keep a fry some couple fries in. So I do realize that that Nexus would be um <laughs> Yeah, Nexus would be kind of tough to beat. But I but Cinder Vines is the way to go, not not that other, not the other disenchant effect. We should be playing Cinder Vines. Um, yeah, Disdainful Stroke, absolutely. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke. That's a lot, that's going to be better against the the Flash deck also. And I like Disdainful Stroke against like the other Nissa decks also, like if we want. Then probably something else against Aggro, maybe like a Flame Sweep. Like we need we need some other stuff against aggro. Aggro is going to usually be kind of tough for us. We need melody. That's what we need. This deck needs some entrancing melodies. Maybe like one disdainful stroke. Entrancing melodies like against other risen reef decks we can steal their risen reefs. Um against like you know the vampire decks we can just steal their their creatures like that the one night of the ebon legion one drop that's so devastating we can just steal it. Same with Adanto Vanguard. But yeah, against other land war elf decks, you steal their thing. So I think that's going to be a, a sideboard that will help us out a little more. Um... Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really feel like I need, like we needed Nessa. Didn't really feel that. Maybe, maybe a, a big Chandra that's uncounterable against against Flash and against. Let's take out a Cindervine. Let's let's put in a big Chandra instead of a Cindervine. That can just be against like the the Esper controls, and um, and Flash and also Nexus. You know, you ramp into Chandra against Nexus. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but there we go. Yeah, Golas is really cool. It's just a fun deck to play. This is a good one. Um, but yeah, so it went pretty good. So we went four two. We went one and one against the fl against Bant Flash. We went one and one against Scape Shift. And then we beat Vampires, Sultai. Um, and that's it. That those are our six. Those are our six decks. So definitely played all real decks, all uh, you know, all pretty good decks and everything, and that was a good showing. And you know, even with a, a sideboard that wasn't wasn't uh, the best. And is this sideboard perfect? No, but I think this this is a better spot, better place for like where I'd want to start off. Actually, I'd want like an what's the ether card? Maybe get an ether card in here, an ether gust. I think over a negate or a disdainful stroke. Uh, maybe not. No, I don't know. That's that's another option. Of course, Brontodon's an option also instead of Cinder Vines. 
if you want a card that's a little better against red instead of better against Nexus. Um, Blood Sun. Yeah, we could we could definitely play a Blood Sun. Maybe maybe we should be playing a Blood Sun. That's another card. Uh, you know, for the the Scape Shift matchup. Another option there. But maybe with getting like the the six mana Chandra, that can help against the Scape Shift matchup too. So, uh, other options to think about if you are putting the deck together yourself. All right, but there we go. That's Teamer Golos. Pretty sweet deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it here for Teamer Golos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one.